Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product everyday series. Today I am so excited to try out this foundation from Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Luminous Foundation that I got in my April 2022 BoxyCharm base box. This is probably one of the best products I got in that box. It was definitely not my favorite BoxyCharm box I'd ever gotten, but if you haven't seen that unboxing video yet, it is up here on my YouTube channel. So this foundation is cruelty-free, vegan. It retails for $38. I have this in the shade 160C, and it does have a great shade range. And the description on this sounds so good. So I'm just going to go ahead and read it to you. It's a water-resistant liquid foundation that creates a luminous and natural finish which sounds awesome. I love that type of look on my skin and for my makeup. It says the radiant formula delivers long wearing medium coverage, yet still feels so lightweight and looks ultra fresh. Luminous foundation blurs any imperfection without caking or masking the skin's natural radiance. It looks so great on its own, there's no need to set with a powder. I actually rarely set my foundation with a powder. I set my concealer with a powder most of the time, but not with my the rest of my face because I don't really have greasy skin that I need to powder anyways. So I'm glad to hear that this should be good without powder. Oh, lots of good claims on the side of the packaging here. It's like I said, vegan, cruelty-free, alcohol-free, gluten-free, clinically tested, dermatologist tested, ophthalmologist <laughs> tested, non-comedogenic, suitable for sensitive skin, long wearing, no flashback. Great. So here's what it looks like. It does seem like a pretty big package. It's kind of heavy, it's glass, and it has a pump. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pump. It says to use one pump for a more natural look, but then it's also buildable to that medium coverage. <laughs> Gotta work it up here. Hmm. Okay, there we go. And so I'm going to try this out first with my favorite Amazon foundation brush. That is my go-to now. And let's see how it is, but I can also try it out with a dampened sponge if I need to. But so I'm just going to go ahead and start applying it to half of my face. Ooh. I do feel like a little goes a long way, especially with this brush. And it's giving some good coverage right away as well. So even though the instructions for this recommend using a primer, I did not prime my skin before applying this because I just wanna see how it is on its own. But oh my gosh, I was thinking that one pump would maybe be enough for half of my face with light coverage, but I might be able to do a full face with one pump. And I love that, especially with a expensive foundation, when a little goes a long way so that you actually will be able to get a long time use out of it. And so something I'm very picky about with my foundations is if it looks cakey, textured or noticeable on the skin. And so far, this is looking decently smooth. I am noticing some emphasis to texture, like some bumps that I have look a little bit like enhanced. I also have some dryness around my chin area and even though this claims to be hydrating, it does look a little dry, like it's clinging to the dry patches a little bit, which is probably why this does recommend using a primer. But considering I'm not using a primer, it looks very good. Like, sure, you can see a little bit of bumps on my skin, but I mean, I have bumps on my skin, and so it's not much you can do about that. And it is clinging a little bit to the dry patches, but it's not adding to the dryness and not really looking cakey. So if I just did a little bit more hydration, got rid of the dry skin, I think it would look great because on the rest of the skin, it looks very skin-like. And that is good coverage, good medium coverage. 
You can see without it, with it, the way my skin tone is very evened out. I'm just gonna, for the fun of it, take a tiny bit more, just like a teeny bit. Actually, that might have even been too much. I'm gonna actually put a little on that side, but build it up a little bit here over the cheeks where I have a little bit of that redness peeking through to see if I can cover that up. I mean, that's pretty good. There's still a little bit of the redness that shows through, but overall, great coverage that really evens out the skin tone. But I would say the finish of it is leaning a little bit more towards matte because how it says it doesn't cover up the radiance of the skin, you can definitely see a lot more of that shine radiance without it versus with it. Like it did mattify that a little bit but it does look and feel very lightweight, not cakey. I like this natural looking skin effect. That's really what I want for my foundations. And it's working great with the sponge. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue on to the other side of my face, blending it out. I think this color is pretty good for me as well. Like to my neck, it's a pretty good match. Okay, so foundation is applied now. And overall, I like this. I like how it looks lightweight and skin-like, and it evened out my skin tone with that medium coverage. So I'm really liking how my skin looks. The only thing that's kind of throwing me off about this is that it's literally called luminous foundation and I'm not getting that luminous claim. I think it looks pretty matte. Like if this claimed to be mattifying foundation, I would agree with that name because where I had that shine to my skin, it's not really there anymore. There's a little bit of a like slight sheen still, hence that natural finish that it claimed, but then it also claims luminous. <laughs> so I would definitely say natural to matte finish. And I do personally prefer more of that radiant, glowing, luminous look to the skin. So if this had more of that, more of that hydrated, dewy look, I would love this even more. But for what it is here, I do like it because it doesn't look heavy, it doesn't look cakey, and it still just looks like skin. Where I have the dryness, you can tell that I'm wearing foundation because of the texture it's creating. There's also a little settling into the fine lines. So even though this said you don't have to set it with a powder, which I wouldn't want to do because it already looks kind of matte, I am still gonna have to set those areas that crease with the powder anyways. So I like this enough to keep it in my collection, continue using it, but I don't think it's so amazing that you need to go spend $38 on it because I think there are better foundations that at least I personally prefer and that are even less expensive than this that I would prefer, but I am happy with how my skin and makeup is looking so i will continue wearing this for the rest of the day and i will update the description down below with my wear test but if you've tried this out let me know in the comments how you like this but thank you so much for watching my video today be sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that i try every day and i will see you tomorrow in my next video